this video, we're learning how to approximate irrational numbers without a calculator. So the first question we got to ask ourselves is what is an irrational number? And an irrational number, the definition I'm going to give is a number that cannot be expressed as a ratio of integers. But a kind of a more simpler way to remember it is that it really is a number that is a repeating infinite decimal is an irrational number. Let's give an example of one right here. So you got 3.145 and this is number is just going to keep going on and on forever. And this number we better know as pi. But one thing that you should notice that most irrational numbers actually stem from square roots of integers. So let's take an example like this. So if you have the square root of two, that is going to be an irrational number as follows 1.414213562237. And that's just going to keep going on and on forever. And then if you have another one square root of 95, that one is just going to go on forever and ever like this as well. So what we're going to try to do in this video is learn how to approximate these numbers within the first two digits. And we're going to do this using the simple approximation formula. So let's jump in and look at an example here. So we're going to try to approximate the square root of 75 to two digits. So what we're going to do is we're first going to find the closest number that is smaller than 75 and has a set of whole square roots. So if we have a number line here, 64 has a set of whole square roots and 81 has a set of whole square roots. So if you place 75 right here, your brain might want to say, oh, 81 is the closest number, but that's not how you do this. You always have to pick the smallest number that is next to it with whole square roots. In this case, that's going to be 64. So now that we did that part, here is this chart here, and this is eight big steps that will get you to your approximation. So we're going to start in boxes one, two, three. You're going to have to define these variables A, B, and C. So A is going to be the number whose square root we are trying to approximate. In this case, is 75. B is the number we just found, which is the smallest, closest number with the whole root, which is going to be 64. And then C is going to be the square root answer to B. So again, the square root of 64 is going to be 8. So now that we have all those variables, we can plug them into the approximation formula, which is here as follows. So it's going to be C plus, and then you're going to have a fraction, and on top you're going to have A minus B, and on the bottom you're going to have 2, which is a constant here, times C. So now that we have our formula, the formula will always be the same. Now we're going to plug in our numbers to this formula. So we got C, which is 8 plus... And then on top, we're going to have A, which is 75, minus B, which is 64. And then you have 2. It's always going to be 2 no matter what. 2 times C, which in this case is 8. So now you're on to step 6, which is you're going to solve the formula. And so 8 plus, and then do the top first, 75 minus 64 is 11. 2 times 8 is going to be 16. And now we're going to get our approximation answer. So if you do 11 divided by 16, find that by long division, that's going to give you 8.6875, which we can round to two digits to 8.69. And now on step eight, you're just going to check the actual square root and compare and see if it's pretty close. And again, it should be pretty close. If it's close, you did it right. And the actual square root is 8.66602, and that's just going to go on forever. So our answer is very close, so we know that we did it right. Let's do one more example here just so you get the hang of it. And so we're going to try to approximate the square root of 27 here. So if we have our number line, 27 is right there. So we know that the smallest, closest number with whole roots is going to be 25. So let's now go back to our chart. So A, the number we're trying to approximate the square root of is going to be 27. B, the closest number that we found is going to be 25. And the square root of 25 is going to be 5. So now we can go ahead and plug into our approximation formula. So C, which is 5 plus, and then on top A minus B, which is 25, divided by 2 times C, which we found to be 5. And now you can go ahead and solve in the formula. So you got 5, and then 27 minus 25 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. And that's not fully simplified. We want to get it fully simplified. So we're going to have 5 plus 2 tenths simplifies to 1 fifth. And so if you do the long division on that, that's going to give you 5.2. And so it doesn't always have to go two digits, but you know that's if it goes more than that, we'll just round it to two. And so now we just got to check the actual square root and compare. So if you plug it into calculator, you can get that number right there. So we got 5.2, and 
and 5.1961. And so that's going to be very close. So we know we did a very good job approximating it. And so let's recap what we learned today. First, we learned what an irrational number is. Second, we learned how to approximate irrational numbers using the approximation formula. And if you're interested in learning more about Turtle Ed, visit us at www.withturtleed.com.